Hello, welcome to Airdrop Spot. Remember the Smart Cartel FT that we minted for free on Smart Layer Network some weeks ago? There is a new update. So here is what you are going to do. You are going to log into your Smart Layer Network. You are going to go to your Smart Card profile. Then number one thing I want you to do here is look at this token ID. You are going to copy it. You are going to be needing it later at the end of this video. So we are going to be visiting viewer.tokenscript.org. I will have the link pinned in the comment section for your convenience. What we are going to be doing here is we are going to be interacting with our NFT. This is how it works. You would see that um, normal NFTs, they are just like JPEGs and PNGs. They are just static pictures. Aside from selling them, there's really nothing else that you can do with them. However, uh, our smart card NFT, you can interact with it. So we are here, you are going to connect your wallet, connect MetaMask. So we can interact with smart card NFT. That is why they call it smart card. It is smart. You can interact with it as if you are playing game. Okay. So you're going to tap on smart card. Tap on that smart card card again. Here we are. So there are a series of interactions that you can do with your smart card. But the first thing you are going to have to do before making any of these interactions is to adopt your card. You can see a list of those interactions if you tap on see more. Then you can see that none of them is currently active. So you need to adopt your card before anything else. So tap on adopt. So I'm sure many of you know one of these mobile games where you adopt a character. It could be a human character or a pet and then you feed your character, you bath your character, you dress up your character, you brush their teeth, you do all sorts of things, right? So that is the kind of interaction that Smart Layer Network is bringing into the Smart Card NFT. So you are going to tap on adopt, then you are going to confirm that interaction in your wallet. Mind you, every interaction that you do will cost you gas fee, but it is very cheap. Every single interaction you make is going to cost you between 20 to 40 cents worth of main netmatic. So like I was explaining earlier, those kind of interactions that you do with your mobile games where you interact with characters, either humans or pets on the screen, Smart Layer Network is trying to bring that, that kind of interaction into NFTs. They are trying to prove that your NFTs can be much more than just JPEGs and NFTs. They can be able to do more and I'm sure as time goes on, they are still going to introduce more features. So I am done adopting my card, then I can now go on with other interactions. Now I will go ahead to clean my cart. That is the next item. So your cart is dirty, it has rolled in the mud and now you are supposed to clean it yourself. So tap on clean cart. And you are going to confirm that in MetaMask as well. It costs between two to four cents worth of main netmatic. Confirm. Now I have successfully cleaned my cat, then I am going to move on to another interaction. I am going to feed my cat this time, so I'll tap on feed cat. Tap on feed cart and then confirm in your wallet. Tap on confirm. So interaction is successful. Now for every interaction that you do, you get awarded points for it. This is how you can check your points. Go to cart bio. And here you can see that I have 75 points for adopting, feeding and also cleaning my cats. And if you look at the bottom, 
Now, if you look at the bottom, you are supposed to feed your cat seven times today and also clean your cat two times. I've only fed my cat two times and cleaned it one time. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to invite another cat in for a play date. So tap on invite for play date. And here you are going to paste the token ID of the cat you are trying to invite. You, if you remember at the beginning of this video, I showed you where to copy your smart cat ID earlier. So that is the ID that you need to paste, but you have to paste another person's ID, not your own. So what you are going to do is you are going to drop your smart cat ID in the comment section of this video so that others can be able to invite your cat and you can have somebody to invite. However, you will see that this one is bringing error. That is because the cat I am trying to invite for a play date has not been adopted by its owner yet. So before you, you, you can be able to invite somebody's cat for a play date, they have to adopt it first, which was the first thing I did at the beginning of this video so i'm going to pause and i will wait for the owner of the cat to adopt the cat first before inviting it for a play date again so i am back the owner of the cat has adopted it and now i am going to try inviting the same cat for a play date again and let's see if it is going to bring error this time so tap on invite and you can see the transaction is going through so make sure that you adopt your cat before sharing your cat ID in the comment section of this video so that others can be able to invite your cat for a play date. And if you don't have somebody to invite, you can also invite uh, others in the comment section for a play date. Just copy their smart cat ID and then paste it in the invite box. The invitation has been successfully sent and now I am going to wait for the person I invited to accept my invitation so that my cat can have a play date with their own cat. So if another person invites your cat for a play date, you are going to see it under accept invitation. So you see the invitation request and then you can decide to accept it. Nobody has, uh, has um, sent me a request yet so you won't see anything at this moment. So I still have five more times to feed my cat for today and I have one more time to clean my cat. So I'm going to be pausing this video so that I can do all that so that I won't waste our time then I'll come back. So I am back and then you can see that my points have increased for all of my interactions. I now have 250 smart layer points and you can see that I have already fed my cat seven times and I have cleaned it even more than two times. So what is left for me is to, uh, to for my cat to have a play date with other people's cats and once I have done that, that will be all that is expected of me today. So remember to drop the token ID of your smart cat in the comment section of this video so that other people can invite your cat for a play date and then you can also have somebody to invite for a play date. Also, if you have questions, drop me a comment in the comment section of this video. Ask me your questions. I'll be here to answer you. If you have found value in any of my contents, give me a like on this video and also subscribe for more content. Turn on the notification bell as well so that you always be among the first to know when I share a new content. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.